Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with a post review of Artemisa. So if you were in my live on Friday night, you would have saw that I completed Artemisa in live with you guys. And again, thank you to everyone who was able to join us for that live. But as you can see, I did complete Artemisa. Now, due to the fact that they were like testing and sick people in the house, it did take me 12 days to complete it. Still not a big deal, but uh, I know I get that asked that question a lot. And if you're wondering like what Miss Coffee's tips are or working on squares, I did make a video giving you some of my tips and tricks on how I work on squares and how I work on kits a little bit faster. So if you want to check that out, but let's get down to the nitty gritty, shall we? Now for this kit, I did do a couple of enhancements, not a lot, because as you guys remember, this kit was done for my husband because he really loved the image. So the only enhancements that I did were, I'm gonna bring her up to you so I don't have to keep moving my thing around. It keeps moving, I got a new tripod. So first enhancement, the wolf's eyes. As you can see, there's two big old diamonds in the wolf's eyes. Those are called quad cubes. They are over at uh, DP Sparklers with uh, DP with Sparklers. Um, Tima has these new diamonds called quad cubes. They fit in four slots of your square or round kit, and I absolutely love the quad cubes for eyes because it gives it a, it gives it a little bit more depth into the eyes, making them look a little bit more realistic. So I did use quad cubes for the eyes of the wolf. The other enhancement that I did was of course the heart. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but uh, I did add a couple of ABs. Now, because this is for my husband, he didn't want me to do too many enhancements on it. So I left most of the enhancements as were, and I just added some like these ABs in the heart of the kit. And then the last thing I did was I added these a black ABs to the moon on her forehead. When it comes to the ABs that were already in this kit, for the most part, the ABs were up here in the sky, which is what I completed yesterday. So we have some on the horn there. We got some on the horn over here. And then the twinkles in the sky are going to be some of your white ABs. And as you can see, I haven't shined this up yet. And by shine it up, I mean, I take, oops, sorry, I bumped you. I take a little toothbrush and go over it to make sure there's no extra wax on it. And the wax, the wax residue that I do have on it, I use to wax, uh, to, to sparkle up the drills. But I don't even really need to with this kit, just mainly because look at the shimmer of the diamonds on that kit. Like, it is insane how realistic and gorgeous this kit turned out. Now, when it comes to the drill quality, we're gonna say the drill quality was good. It wasn't great, it was good. And the reason why I say it wasn't great was it. The, some of the drills were junky. 3371 was the worst. It had a lot of plastic extra pieces in it and drills stuck together. Uh, 310s actually weren't bad for this kit. Surprisingly, the, three, the three, 3371s were worse than the 310s. The 310s where it did still have some of the plastic pieces in it, it wasn't as bad as the 3371. So here is most of my trash from this kit. So this kit is a 56 by 104 and minus a couple of extra like plastic pieces. This is all the trash that I got out of that. And I just want to give this disclaimer. I am superior. I am super picky when it comes to the drills that go on a square canvas. I am super picky with the square drills. And this is all the square drill trash that I had. Some of it isn't even squares. They're just like extra plastic pieces or whatever but this is all the square drills that I had or not square drills uh trash drills this is the trash drills from this kit here um so for this entire kit to only have that amount of trash is good so I would highly recommend this kit um let's get over here to the extra drills as you I did panic a little bit I did panic when it came to the I came to the end I don't know why I was panicking about the this green here the percent sign but i was panicking that i wasn't gonna have enough but of course as you can see i have plenty diamond art club always gives you at least 20 percent extra drills to make sure that you have enough to complete it don't worry about my nasty nails i have to put new ones on so and this is my extra storage for my extra drills so these here are extras as you can see because they're written out and then these are the ones that came with the kit already So as you can see, 30, 938, I had a lot extra because I had just opened up a bag for 938. 
I also just opened up a bag for $33.71, which is that brown you see there. So I had spare drills of all size or of all uh, colors. 310 was another bag I had to open up at the end to get to finish it. And I still, still, I still, after all that, I still had an extra bag of 310 left. Like this was the last spare bag that I had. So I used every bag in my storage containers, except for this one bag of 310. So I did have plenty of drills to finish this kit. Um, I think Diamond Art Club did an amazing job on rendering this, even though the only part about this that, that I wasn't the fondest of is her face. And that's because I'm super particular about faces and I, I don't usually diamond paint faces for this reason. Because when you're doing a face, there's lots of shades of colors in a face. So when you do them, as you can see from right here, doesn't look like anything, right? Just looks like shading in her face. Like it looks just amazing. But if you get down into her business, like if you're down in there, the colors that they use for her face, it makes it look weird, especially when you're diamond painting on it and you're going, what in the world did they do to her face? But when you step back and look at it, it's the colors of her face. It's the blush in her cheeks and on top of her cheeks. So they actually did a really good job with this one. I was highly impressed by the, the, the palette and the fact that, as you guys know, sorry, I'm trying to get you guys readjusted here. As you guys know, Miss Coffee is colorblind. So I don't see colors like everybody else does. And this is probably the first kit that I was actually able to complete that I can see all the colors the way they're, I guess, supposed to be. Like, I can see brown with no issues. So the fact that this is a sepia image, I love the flowiness of her hair, the leaves in her hair, the star constellations at the top up here. And I just, I love how it turned out. Like, it could not have turned out any better if they tried. Um, I was a little confused by this mark here. And I, I actually pulled those up to check to make sure that was supposed to be there like that. And it was. So I'm not sure what the shadowing there for was. But, like, I love the arrow in her hand. I love the way that the wolf turned out at the bottom. This bottom part went really quick. The most confetti part of this kit were the leaves and her hair. Because you have uh, different highlights going through her hair. So, like, her body wasn't even that confetti riddled. It was her hair and the leaves and the horns. The horns had a lot of confetti in them, but the out the outer edge of this kit was actually a lot of color blocking. So if you're someone who likes color blocking, the outer edge, you know, it was color blocking, but you did run into some confetti, which slowed me down a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. The confetti always slows you down because you're having to change color so much. If you don't know what confetti is, that is when you have a bunch of different symbols of different colors in one area. So like in the wolf here, we have one color, two color, three color, four color, five colors. Five colors in this, just this small area here. I also work in bigger sections when I work on diamond painting. So I did this, her, this whole bottom row. And I'm actually was wondering about this. So I'm hoping that Inez Guerrero uh, takes a look at this video. And if she does it, I'm gonna message her on Instagram and ask her, is this her signature? Like, I don't know if the other lady, uh, I know Angie Holden or Holder in my group, uh, Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray, so our group, I'm sorry. Um, I know she completed this kit as well. And I was wondering what this was because it's gray and it's kind of out of place. So I'm wondering if this is the artist's signature because I know a lot of artists will put their signature in their artwork and then when they turn it into diamond painting, the signature actually comes out. So I'm wondering if this is uh, Inya's... Uh, Signature, so I was actually going to ask about that, and I meant to do that before I did the video, but you know, my apologies, stroke brain. So, with that said, y'all, look, listen, I absolutely loved working on this kit. This must be the year of big kits for me because this is now the second big kit that I have completed. As you guys know, I did Pride, and then this is the second kit that I've completed. Again, it only took 12 days, I didn't have any major issues with it where the drills were a little junky. Diamond Art Club always makes sure to provide you with enough drills to at least put down good drills. Because they already know, I'm pretty sure these people cringe whenever I get a square kit from them because they know I am super picky about square drills. They have to be damn near perfect for me to actually even want to complete a square drill. And the kit, this kit here has some of the best square drills that I've worked with in a very, very long time. So I was very pleased with the drill quality on this one, even though it did have trash. 
all your drills are going to have trash. It, it, there's no kit out there that I've ever worked on in my three years of diamond painting that did not have trash. But the fact that, of course, they give you enough drills to complete the image is all I really care about. And they gave you plenty of drills to complete this kit. They gave you even more for the 310s because they know 310s are junky. So they usually give you a little bit more of those. So two big old thumbs up from Miss Coffee. They did an amazing job on this. Uh, Inez Guerrero's artwork is amazing. She does have a couple of art pieces on Diamond Art Club's website now. Um, I'm sure they will come out with more. This image here is currently, as of the, the making of this video, it's currently out of stock because it was so popular. So again, whenever they restock, if you're interested in this kit, you better be quick with the fingers because this hasn't been able to, be, they haven't kept this one in stock since it came out. And when I was working on it, everybody kept, you know, oh, I want that kit, I want that kit. So again, if you're looking to get this kit, I would say be quick with the fingers. But again, they get two big old thumbs up from Miss Coffee on this one. I absolutely love the way it turned out. It's amazing. So thank you to the folks over at Diamond Art Club for providing this for us. Thank you to you for watching. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns about this kit, um, please leave those down in the comment section below, which I know real quick, one of the questions I'm gonna get asked is how am I gonna frame this? Now, this will not get a traditional frame. I know a lot of people like to put them in traditional frames, and I don't like traditional frames. I like stretch fr framing, so what I'll end up doing is stretch framing this so that you can only see the actual picture itself. Um, when I find the frame for it, and if I, if I find it, I will make sure to let you guys uh, see me frame it but for right now I'm going to roll it over and whenever you're putting away a diamond painting this is how you roll up a kit you never want to roll these kits especially when they're completed with the diamonds on the inside because that friction with the diamonds will make them rub together and pop off you don't want that so this is how you roll up your kit when you're done roll it from the bottom up And I actually have a box that I put these in. So you roll it up and there you have it. It's nice and rolled. And then what I will do is I'll put this in the box to get weight for it while it's waiting to be um, framed. But that's it for me, folks. I just wanted to show you guys what the finished product looked like, and it's absolutely amazing. If I can get Mr. Coffee to uh, take me outside to show you how it glimmers in the sunlight, I definitely will add that in here. But with that said, folks, again, I have to get out of here. So again, any questions, comments, concerns, leave those down in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, hey, I'm Miss Coffee. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me... It's random, but with that said, I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you that it's hard out here in these crafty streets, so please keep yourself safe by wearing your mask, washing your hands, not touching your face out in public. Keep your six feet and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys! Thank you.